Hello, my Geminis. I almost said good morning because I'm so used to doing videos in the morning. Hi, Gemini. How are you? Happy Friday. I hope you guys have some great plans for the weekend. I do, I do, I do. Okay, let's get to it. This is for a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you are a Gemini, know a Gemini, feel like being a Gemini. Well, Gemini, I am so glad you stopped by. Let's see what messages we have for you. What do we have for the Gemini? What messages do we have for the Geminis? What is it? Okay, I shuffled quite a bit before I hit uh, record in the dark, thinking of you guys like the creeper I am. Stuff of lifetime movies, I know. But let's see what let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on for the Geminis. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's the general energy? What's the general energy? What's the general energy? Ooh, hangman, Pisces energy is what that is. Are we stuck? Are we are we just taking a time out? Are we taking a time out from people? We're trying to get a perspective? What's going on? What's influencing this hangman? What's influencing the hangman? What is it? Seven of Wands. Wow. This is a card. Six and Seven of Wands are, are both cards of being in demand. And it feels like possibly what I got. Oh, maybe it's workplace. Maybe there's people after your position or you feel like they're after you or you're always having to defend yourself or look over your back. Because in, in, that, in the Seven of Wands, he's like on top of a hill. And, you know, so he's at a higher point of other people and they're trying to knock him down. Maybe you feel like you're being knocked down in life by people. And the hangman is just like, wait, wait, wait. I need to take a, I need to take a moment to figure out what's going on here. Or who's who? What's the reason for the reading? Why are we all here today, Gemini? What is it? What is it? The tower reversed. Tower reversed. That is Scorpio energy, Scorpio and Aries. And then we do have Scorpio, or not Scorpio, but um, Leo here. Okay, what's in the past? What's in the past? What happened in the past? This feels like, a, see the tower reverse could be avoiding. It could talk about a past tower moment, but it's, it's the reason for the reading. It could be, I don't know, it's too early to say. It could be you avoiding it. Maybe you are avoiding because something big happened in the past. It could be both. What's in the past here? The full reverse. Afraid to take a chance. Hmm. What's on your mind? What is on your mind? And the full is Aquarius energy. What's on your mind, Gemini? What is on Gemini's mind? The King of Pentacles, Taurus energy. It could be, okay, it could be a Taurus on your mind. This could be about love. I'm feeling work though, I'll be honest. I'm feeling work so far. But Tarot has a way of, of uh, changing the game up. That's why I talk too early and then things just change rapidly when more and more cards come out. I mean, that's the way it is, right? So, but when I look at just a straight line, it's just, it feels like if this is a job, okay, and a King of Pentacles runs the show. And so I, I feel like I could be running, I could be running, I could be reading for a Gemini that is a manager that, or owns a business that oversees people, let's put it that way. And maybe you feel like you're, uh, I wouldn't say employees, but it could even be, you know, people underneath you. Maybe you just feel like they're, out to get you, you know, because the seven of wands and the hangman, maybe it's just um, pulling yourself away and not really knowing who to trust and trying to keep within yourself. But the, yeah, the tower reverses avoiding something major. Maybe you're avoiding having to quit. Maybe you're avoiding having to fire people. But yeah, so far with the king of pentacles, I do feel like this is you. I mean, it could be somebody like that on your mind. I mean, like, like I said, as we go on, it could change stories, but okay, Gemini, what's in the near future? What's in the near future? What's in the near future? Ooh, what's in the near future? This, oh, the five of swords. 
yeah, again, another card, you have to watch your back. I feel like a Gemini has to watch their back. This guy's literally watching somebody's back, okay? And he's ready to put a sword in it. Not to sound dramatic, you know, but it, it does kind of look like that. Because this guy in the background, put, his defenses are down. He dropped his swords, he's walked away. He has figured out this guy is probably a friend. He's not going to hurt him, but he doesn't really know him. Because the Five of Swords is kind of uh, very sneaky. It's very sneaky, underhandedness, lying, manipulation. So I feel like this hangman with this full reverse and this Five of Swords, it's like you not wanting to take a chance on a particular person. It could be that. If this is a relationship, you avoiding a disaster with the Tower Reverse on a particular person. And, and you are not letting somebody in with the seven of wands and the hangman. You could be just like, I'm, I'm taking a break in love. But I mean, so for love or money, because I feel like if you are the king of pentacles in this reading, you have, you have it going on. I feel like you have a good job. You have a lot of balance. You know, it's just like, you don't, you're in a really good place right now. But I do feel like you have people around you you can't trust. And maybe, Maybe you're kind of wondering, can I really not trust them or is this in my head? But all the signs are there or, or, or you know, you know, it's just like there's just something there that does it seems off. Yeah. And Queen of Cups underneath the deck. I do feel like that's you too. That's that is, a, I, again, I feel like I'm reading for a very balanced Gemini. Okay. How do you see yourself right now, Gemini? Yeah, this, I mean, this it's amazing this seven of wands in, in hangman is just you taking a time out but you not letting because i mean you're just not letting all these people in or maybe anybody in right now until you know you can trust them so maybe you're a single gemini and maybe this taurus kind of wants a little piece of gemini you know he is upright he does seem to have a good job maybe he's at work and it's just like i don't know if i could trust this person because what if he ends up like this this five of swords okay moving on how does gemini see themselves right now how do the gemini see themselves how do the gemini see themselves how do the gemini see themselves temperance reverse Sagittarius energy hmm I just said a lot of balance and here comes the energetic unbalance but I mean you always have to look at the cards next to it on tarot we have the tower reverse temperance reverse I just it I mean it's so clear I don't think you are imbalanced I just think you're avoiding unbalance you're just not wanting to take a chance on these on the one person or multiple people at this time I think you're kind of keeping to yourself okay What's the energy coming in to influence this? I mean, I'm honestly feeling work-related, but I could see how it could be love. So if you're watching this, just take it as it resonates. It could be family, however it feels to you. What's the energy coming in to influence this? What's the energy coming in to influence this? What's the energy coming in to influence this? In the world, yeah. I, I think you're leaving them in the past, whoever this is. I think you are closing out a cycle of people taking advantage of you because with the five of swords next to it, you're tired of having to defend yourself to people. No matter, I feel like, I know I'm, I'm doing a lot of feeling, right? But I'll say it again. I feel like, I do feel like maybe no matter how good your intentions are, Gemini, to certain people, they're just like, they're like this, like, what do you mean by that? What do you mean? What do you mean? Why, Gemini? Why, why did you say, why did you say hello to me? Why did you say good morning? What do you mean by that? And maybe you're just tired of having to defend yourself, no matter how good your intentions are. You know how when you first meet somebody, yeah, friendship, I'm not even saying love, but even friendship, and you put yourself out there and it, they're kind of defensive, you know, very defensive. Even though I feel like this is your card, I'm an intuitive reader. So as the storyline gets stronger for me that I'm, you know, that I'm working through here, I'll feel multiple energies on the same card. So it's a roller coaster ride and somehow we get there at the end people but yeah i feel like you're closing out a cycle of allowing people to do that to you because i feel like gemini is at this point if you don't want me in i'm not gonna i'm not i'm i'm not breaking those sticks to get in you're not worth my time you are not worth my time yeah i'll rather be all by myself up on my hill 
than having to worry about somebody stabbing me in the back. Friendship, family, love, you name it. Be, uh, the world is, I think it's just multiple. I just think it's the way people have treated you in the past. You're done with it. Okay, what's in your emotions? Because like I said, I do feel like you're a lot of, you are very balanced. And maybe recently in the past, you weren't. Something happened, right? Something big, the tower. And I think you're just avoiding that from now on. You're like, okay, I learned my lesson. I, you know, I know what to avoid and I know, but the problem is you may avoid everybody at this time until you figure it out. And I guess that's okay. What's in, what's in your emotions? What's in your emotions, Gemini? What's in your emotions? The six of swords reversed. Not really. This means, um, this is a card of being stuck, but it's more a mentally because swords are mental, right? So it's, and, and the hangman is a bit of stuck energy. So maybe, maybe these people have had you stuck. Maybe, maybe if this is family and it's just constantly second guessing, you have spent your life second guessing yourself to the point where you haven't trust your own actions, that it's almost like you're waiting for your life to begin. You could be 40 waiting for your life to begin. You could be 52 and be like, what am I gonna do with my life? Or what do I wanna be when I grow up? Because I feel like you could have grew up in an environment where you were just always kind of questioned. You were always second guessed. You you weren't nurtured in, a, in the way that would make you grow very strong, tall, and you know, and healthy. I was gonna say healthy. and yeah the six of swords reverse maybe it's just what you're ending to is this stuckness and you realize you have the ability to pull yourself away at any time and be who you want to be because i feel like i'm reading for a gemini that's really a king of pentacles but you've probably been second guessed so much that you think you're this full reverse and you don't maybe you don't even know how strong you really are because you're this this in this reading this person's really really strong but maybe you just second guess your own instincts, second guess your actions, second guess your thoughts. What's your outcome here? What's the outcome for Gemini? What's the outcome? I know these cards don't pick up on camera. I just felt connected to use them though. What's the outcome? What's the outcome? Oh, that's right. That's right, Gemini. That's who you are. King of Pentacles. And and a perfect tarot spread. If this, this, well, really, it's these two cards are next to this card, okay? Left to right. Always look at reading, especially readers who do Celtic spreads. You can, you can be your own reader in other people's cards. Always read it left to right because it should have a succession of growth. In the past, there was a Gemini who second-guessed themselves. And then Gemini realized, well, I'm strong. I can defend my own actions against family. I can defend myself against friends, so-called frenemies, you know. And I feel like this is you gaining your strength, gaining your strength to defend yourself. Hangman, hey getting a perspective of realizing how strong you are. On this card, near future, even though I feel like you've had a series of people that backstabbed you, I feel like you're this guy now, okay? Bear with me. Follow me here. I feel like now we've turned the tables. Gemini's turned the tables. These people are walking away from you because you've never fought back you they feel like they got the upper hand on you they don't realize you picked up a sword now you can defend yourself right we have two cards of defending yourself with the seven of wands and then we have the world and gemini says it's a new day the way you're going to deal with me it's a new day I'm, I'm not that small i mean and gemini you are the baby not well you are the baby you're the baby of the air signs you are the knight of of uh swords and so Maybe you're tired of looking down on like you have nothing to offer at the table and only let the big people talk. And you're tired of that because it, it, we have the emperor and the king of pentacles. And the, to me, yeah, I mean, either the, the, the emperor is all four kings and I'm always torn between the king of pentacles or the king of swords is the last king I feel like before the emperor. Where it's like in the queens, it really seems like the queen of pentacles and then the empress. But with the King of Pentacles and the Emperor, you have the ability to make some strong decisions, to take full control of your life, decide who belongs in your life and who doesn't, and who doesn't. It's, it's, it's the world for you guys, you know, you're outside that circle. And you have the ability to make good money, live on your own, and it's up to you what kind of tower. What, if you wanna avoid a tower or you can be the tower, you know what I mean? If people want to piss you off, you will be the tower in their life and they won't like it. I feel like this is how strong you become, you know? 
it's yeah okay anyway let's clarify okay let's clarify this what is this hangman and seven of ones for gemini hangman and seven of ones for gemini that's why i was confused i mean not really confused but i was feeling both i felt it could be work it could be personal Maybe it's just a bunch of different type of people, Gemini, that's underestimated you. And I do feel like that. I feel like you're going to, it's just like, you know, do you want to, I mean, if they're going to bring the shit to you, you're going to say, I can bring the tower to you. It's just, that's how strong you become. It's, it's, it's really great. What is the seven of wands and hangman? What is the seven of wands and hangman for Gemini? Seven of wands and hangman. Seven of Wands and Hangman and the High Priestess Reverse. You're no longer going to be silent and quiet and be quiet, Gemini. You don't have anything to say or to offer and sit down and be, you know, this is silent and this is you analyzing. I know you can't, guys, I'm sorry. I picked two decks. You can't see, but this is, this is the High Priestess Upright is you silent watching. Oh, I'll just keep my thoughts to myself because if I say something, even if it's good, it could end up in this. And so you learn to be quiet, learn to avoid, avoid, avoid. The problem is it came at the expense of your own personal and professional growth. And now we have a Gemini who's deciding to no longer be silent, to speak what they know. And if you can't deal with it, well, there's the door. You're not going to hold, you're not going to keep the door closed and keep people there. You're not that desperate. What's the tower reversed for Gemini? Reason for the reading, what's the tower reversed? What's the tower reversed for Gemini? And the queen of wands, I love the queen of wands. This is charismatic, a go-getter. This is a queen, and pardon my French, who doesn't give, she has no fucks to give. She's a whole lot of them, ha, huh? she's really, she's a whole lot of them. She doesn't care if you like her, she doesn't care if you don't like her, she's gonna live her life the way she deems to live her life. If you don't like it, get out of her kingdom and i do feel like this queen of wands will bring the tower even though it's it's reversed next to the queen of wands she's got the ability to bring the tower if you get in her way i would stay out of her way she is a leader she is not a follower she has followers this with this emperor queen of wands king of pentacles gemini you are stepping into a lot of strength right now what is the full reverse in the past what is the full reverse in the past, Jem? What is it? And the double reverse. Yeah, these this kept you back. Fear of this. I think this this has family all over it. This is a lifetime of Gemini. Oh my God! Don't don't leave the house. Don't leave the house. A giant meteor could fall on your head. No, 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 Gemini. Don't go out and move away because you you're gonna fall on your face. It is trained in you, and yeah it was like it's it's so sad because this is somebody who has the ability the six of swords to do whatever they want to do and to help a lot of other people it's not even about you it's about you helping yourself and therefore you're going to be helping a lot of people and somebody really kind of put the brakes on you early what's this king of pentacles on your mind What's the king of pentacles? I feel like this is you being like, I, I need to get out and, and see what I can do. This is because you know you have the ability to run a company. You have the ability to move far away and just have this fabulous life. And I'm not saying divorce your family or anything, but you need to be an emperor and take full control and decide, you know, it's just like they can't have this kind of influence over you anymore. What is this king of pentacles on your mind, Gemini? What is it? And the eight of wands there's a, some shit you got to do and the king of pentacles doesn't wait for permission to do it he just does it and they can come they can come visit you they can come move by you if you want them to but this is this is you just taking a lot of control i i know i'm sounding i'm repeating myself but a lot of these cards are very it's just telling a very clear story here what is the five of swords in the near future what's the five of swords in the near future what is that and the death reverse yeah this is this what i feel like with the world is what you're closing out because the world's right next to it i just think you are closing out and we have the full reverse you're closing out this you're closing out being stuck in people's i mean really people who keep you stuck 
it's because of their own insecurities. People who keep you stuck is because they need you around because they don't know how to do it themselves. And it's, it's, um, what is that word? It's, um, oh, what is that word? I can't think of that word. It becomes, you know, that codependency. That's what it is. It's codependent relationships. And it's when they can't do it. They, they create this inability in the other person or the, the image, you know, it's not that they, it's not like physically they're stuck, but it, and I think I, I told this story to another sign and it definitely applies here. It's, it reminds me of the elephant in the circus and that, you know, when it's a baby elephant, how they train an elephant because you know how big an elephant gets, right? And do you ever see pictures of a circus there? They have a little rope on them and they're got a little, a uh, stick in the ground, a metal, metal uh, stake in the ground. Well, you know that elephant could break that at any time. I mean, what is it, like three, five tons? But when they're babies, they try and they, they pull against that rope and they can't get that stake out of the ground. They, they every day pulling and pulling and pulling. And it's just like, you know, the humans are around them kind of laughing, like, look how cute they are trying to be all independent, but I'm going to keep them there. Well, the problem is, is by the time they can pull it, they're trained not to try anymore. They gave up. And maybe, maybe you were trained not to try for so long, you gave up on your own power. And I feel like this reading is you realizing, I gave up. I mean, it's just like you stopped trying. You stopped trying to jump into things. I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. Star reverse, ace of swords reverse, and the tower. Whatever this tower was, if this even happened in childhood, it kept you like this. It kept you almost stunted. Ace of Swords reverse and a star reverse. And I, this is the time when I should have said this in the beginning, an Empress reverse. This is lack of expansion. This is lack of expansion in a big ass way with these cards. Major Arcana, Major Arcana, Major Arcana, Ace of Swords reverse. I gave up. I gave up. Why? I don't know. I... It's just, it's whatever this was, you, to protect yourself, it was like, I'm going to protect myself now by not expanding myself, only, only doing what is comfortable. It's like, Ooh, you know, okay. But I, you know, and I should have said this in the beginning. I've been saying it in other signs. This is really true. I am not fast food tarot. I am not the McDonald's of tarot. There are a lot of readers where a lot of people will resonate with because they kind of tell them what they kind of want to hear. I'll be honest. Or they keep it very, very pot, like very, very positive. If you know what I mean. I, I think I may only read for a couple people and I get people who don't like that because they just want their story told. The thing is, is I, I think I am very specific. I'm not saying this is applies to all Gemini's, but if this applies to one Gemini and that Gemini doesn't, doesn't happen to see this in for three months, then this reading is, you know, that's, then it's worth it. And I know some people, they don't like that because they want their story told and I can't control the cards. I can only, and I can't even control how I feel when the cards are in front of me. I have to be honest to myself and honest to you guys. And I have to tell you what this is. So I don't want to imply all Gemini's have had this going on, but there is at least one Gemini that I'm pulling their energy that has, and maybe they need to hear it. So, and I know some of these readings get very, very, very specific. Okay, let's move on. What is this temperance reverse? What is this temperance reverse? How you see yourself? What is this temperance reverse? I just, I, I feel like this is who you really are as a queen of wands and a king of pentacles and an emperor, but you've been living like this. I'm afraid to try because I don't want shit to go wrong. I don't want shit to go sideways. But the thing is, you're not living like in the sun. I feel like the sun reverse should be here. The star reverse. Well, it was at the bottom of the deck. And you realize five of pentacles reverse and the five of swords reverse is just, you've been holding your own self back from your own value, you know? Okay. And that, and beneath that, that's ironic. It was the hangman. I saw that card. Yeah, the hangman. There it is. Center of the reading. I think that's what this perspective, I think a Gemini had an aha moment. Okay, what's this temperance reversed? I know I pulled it, but I put it back in. Tell me about the temperance reversed. What's this temperance reverse? How Gemini sees themselves. Temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy. Tarot says, and I mean it. Enough's enough. Enough's enough. You can't, you can't keep going like this. You have way too much potential to hide yourself away. Maybe, Gemini, something happened to you when you were younger. 
maybe it was really, really bad. Okay, with the devil and we had two towers now. Maybe it was really bad. I'm not saying it wasn't, but it kept you like this for most of your life. I, and you could be 52, 63, you can be 21 watching this, but for most of your adult life, it's been a full reverse because you don't want this to happen again. They can't hurt you anymore. Whatever this is, it can't hurt you anymore. You can put yourself out there because this world that you made very, very small to protect you, I feel is now keeping you back because you are waking up to your full potential. Maybe you have desires, you, there's things you wanna see and do. And you know what? It's kind of like a chicken and an egg. That egg keeps that, that chicken very, very safe. But it has to grow to the healthy, the healthy version, the healthy thing to do is for that chicken to break out of that shell. It's time for you to break out of the shell because there's things you need to do. The longer you stay in that shell, the more temperance reverse you're going to get. That's just what I'm getting. Okay. What is this world energy coming in to influence us? What is the world doing here? And I feel like it's a new day. It's a new day. The way people treat you. It's a new day. How you allow people to treat you. What is the world here? What is the world? And the seven of swords, yeah. You're not letting these people lie on you, manipulate you, cheat you, tell you to shut up, sit down. You have nothing to offer. No, Gemini is like, the outcome is emperor. Don't forget that Aries energy. You, you, Do you know people like this? Could you imagine telling them to sit down and shut up? I think you would be thinking, oh my God, they're gonna bring this. Gemini is gonna bring the tower if, if somebody tries the seven of swords on them. I got that strongly throughout this. What is the Six of Swords reverse in your emotions? What's the Six of Swords reverse in your emotions? Oh, I got another feeling on that card. What that could be. Let's see what this is. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. This is a new you and it's young and it's learning new things. Maybe you're now learning about yourself, your capabilities, what you can do, what you can offer. It's just, it's, it's, it's exciting and it's a pentacle. It's not a sword. It's, it's you applying who you have always been and who who you probably always wanted to be before this happened right before this happened in the past this was you very positive thinking i can do anything i, I can be anyone and the six of swords reverse on that is some whatever this is it kept you in a six of swords reverse an, an ability to put your expand right to expand your life Maybe some of you even pulled yourself from going to like a higher education. Maybe, you know, it was just enough to graduate high school and then you had to start working because I mean, maybe you had to help your family out. Maybe you, you had a child young, you got married young. There's all kinds of reasons, but now maybe there's a Gemini who wants to go back to school and, and learn because Page of Pentacles is a card of learning as well. Okay. What is this emperor? What's the emperor in the outcome? What is the emperor doing here in the outcome? What is this emperor? What is that? And the magician reverse. This is what you're taking control of. It's so ironic. The emperor and the magician, magician reverse are exact opposite energies. I feel like this is what you've been doing. This is a person who has had everything on his table. The ace of cups, the ace of swords, the ace of pentacles, and the ace of wands. They just lay on the magician's table. He's pointing to the sky and he's pointing to the ground. He's still in the process. It's kind of, eh, is it procrastinating? No, he's just, he's got it within him. He's got it in his head. He maybe feels like he's got all that, like with this infinity symbol above his head, he's got all the time to actually start his life. But the problem is it's 20 years to slip by and he's still in that process of grinding this thought into reality. And it became like this, this is unused potential. This is a lot of potential not being used. That's why it's reversed. Now we have the emperor, you using that potential. That doesn't expire. When, when a magician pops up in a person's reading, they are the magician. They can do anything. There's nothing they can't do. And I feel like this is what you're waking up to. So that Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of, what, was, what did I miss? Ace of Cups, Wands, Pentacles. It's still on the table. Yes, it's probably full of cobwebs by now. Dust that shit off and put it to use, Gemini. It's time. It's time to jump into your life and see what you can do. What is this Emperor in the outcome? 
I mean, this is, this is, this, is, I'm reading for somebody, no matter what you decide to do, you can go back to school. If you go back to school, you will succeed. If you start a business, you will succeed. If you want to start a new relationship, you will succeed. That's the power I'm talking about. You will not fail in this power. The only failure here is, is staying like this, staying like this. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of failure. I'm afraid of something going wrong. I don't think that works for you anymore, to be honest. I think you're out, you're outgrowing it. And maybe that's what you're realizing. You're, you're outgrowing your shell. What is this emperor in the outcome? What's the emperor in the outcome for Gemini? What's the emperor and the queen of swords reverse? One, I feel like, no, I feel like this is you. This is being fed up. This is being fed up with not utilizing your own power. This is being fed up with being bored in one's life. This is fed up of not being taken seriously. This is fed up with not expanding yourself and keeping yourself small to please other people. This is, You're fed up with the way people talk to you. You're fed up with the way people treat you. You're even fed up with the way people even look at you. And it's, when I say it's a new day, it's a new day and the way you're allowed going to be treated from now on. What's the emperor? One more card and the wheel of fortune, just like the world. It's a new day and it's shiny and it's happy and it's bright. But most, most importantly, this is a day that you are now in control of your own actions. That's really powerful. Okay, Geminis, that is what I have for you today. I hope you guys have a lovely weekend and uh, I'll see you on, I was gonna say Monday. Maybe I will see you on Monday. Okay guys, take care.